Good morning, guys. Little's pressure washing here. We are about to start our day, and man, it is wonderful out today. Out today, man. God bless everybody and your families. I hope you're doing amazing. We got the hot water unit hooked up today. You guys like my new driveway? I got to bring the skid steer out here and level it some. But we're going to get it fixed. We're bringing out the hot water Kubota mixed with the Comet P40 gas system. We actually got to go by and get some bleach. I just thought of that. I almost forgot. We're bringing out this bad boy. Today we're bringing out our gas hot powered Kubota diesel engine with the Comet P40 system with the blend manifold. Uh, we got to get some bleach. We're about out of bleach. We got to get some. I got to do a gutter clean out. That's why I got that ladder up there. Oh. Over here we got our 10 gallon a minute IGX 800 uh, bad boy right here, man. It's a bad mama jamma. We only got on this one. What do we got on this one? 19.6 hours. Uh, we have just simple two hose reels. We have the generator. We have the reclaim system. And we have the big guy. This is for a lot of our commercial lots. Uh, we use that for smaller areas and this for the bigger areas. And this is what we filter our water and get the dirty water out of there. Over here is the OG. This system used to be here. I got to clean this trailer up some. But uh, this is another hot water unit I got. It's an IGA. I'm sorry. GX690. Eight gallon a minute. 3500 PSI with general pump. We've got the fluids changed in that. All the... Everything's been nice and buttoned up. We just had this maintenance. Uh, the hot water was not working. We got that fixed. So we've had this bad boy for a few years now. Uh, and this one works great. You know, this one has the downstream injection back here at the chemical tank. And uh, I'm just going to redo this. I'm going to redo this trailer because I don't like how they did this. We did this, uh, I think, 2016. And they, the company that built this put these back here. I don't know why they did it. It should have been on the side. But we're going to redo all this eventually at some point but right now that's not on the agenda to do all our trailers have new tires we do have the hookup on tires i get a brand new rim and tire for 100 bucks out the door and not just any tire i get the 225 75 10 ply these are 10 ply rated for like automobiles and stuff man and big trucks we actually threw this jack on here this is the bulldog jack i can't say enough about this jack so a tailgate don't hit and We'll probably end up doing it to this one at some point because I don't like my tailgate hitting that. But uh, yeah, so we're going to take this one out today, right here. We're going to put a little bit of air in the tire. We got our tires looking good on it. It's okay. We've got so many tires uh, in the garage because I, I buy I buy a lot of them. I get good deals on them. Uh, so we got to do a oil change some point on this Uter pump. We need to get to that whenever we get a chance. It's a good pump though. I like it. I just changed the belts out and everything on here. Uh, we did a lot of work on this. We got rid of the fuel injection system here. Uh, this is the 45 gallon diesel tank that feeds this and the burner over there. Uh, I'm gonna clean the plumbing up some. I don't think the guy, the guy didn't do a good job plumbing it. Look, I can actually add pumps on this. Look at this, see? See those extra loops I could put? This engine is so big and bad, dude. It's a Kubota. I think it's called a T5. But this thing is amazing. Look, this right here is gonna be fixed. I'm taking this off. This is for gas. I need to put a straight one that goes up for diesel. But nonetheless, okay, enough trailer talk and all that good stuff. Um, we're taking this one today and we're leaving the other two here. Um, I got some interviews Friday. I'm hiring two guys. So we're gonna have all these trailers on the road. And also guys, also check this out. We're gonna be building back here. I'm putting a truck build in here. I'm running a truck build. It's, it's going to be only Lafon engines. You know those new pressure washers we got for sale? I'm about to be uh, flying down to Florida where they're made at. I'm going to be doing videos of them. I'm going to be bringing uh, a Lafon soft wash system back and a Lafon 8 gallon minute 3500 PS. I'm going to put it in the skid back here and we're going to be running that. So we're going to be running, we're going to race this. We're getting it painted. Nissan's going to actually come and paint. They're going to fix this right here. They're going to fix that on top right there. See it? That's under warranty. Once we get this painted, any day now, I'm gonna put a wrap. We're raising this up. It's already been cut, ready for a lift. These are 35s, I think, right? Uh, no, these are 18 by, I wanna say 35s or 37s. Nonetheless, uh, we're gonna raise it up. We're gonna put 26 inch. 
we're going big either 24 or 26 no less than 24 and then we're going to put like a, a 40 inch tire on it we're going to raise it put a seven to nine inch air suspension lift on it we're going to wrap it we're going to have our sponsors on here we're going to have lafon engines because we're, we're partnering with lafon we have dine power pack on here as well we sell dime power packs we also sell uh, pump tech the baddest biggest baddest 12 volt soft wash pump on the market so that's what we got going on with that but yo i've talked y'all's head off without further ado i think sadie's ready to go you ready to go baby girl Mwah. she's like let's get out of here daddy ups just left we got our new signs in right here all right, guys, our first stop was we just filled up the truck with diesel. Um, we filled up all the diesel and all the gas. And now we're at the bank. We had to go to the bank because I still got some checks from like a week or two ago. I haven't been able to get in here. That big house wash I did, I still got to deposit that one. And I normally don't like to hang on people's checks. I like them to, to get deposited right away so it doesn't affect, you know, people. So I'm a big uh, believer in that. Like, you know, don't hope people's checks and stuff like that because it could affect the way they're budgeting and whatnot but uh anyway nonetheless we're gonna make some deposits and then we're gonna go look at this gutter cleaning out we got to do okay so we'll see you there all right we've got the deposits in the bank now we're gonna grab some lunch and uh then we're gonna go check out this estimate we're gonna give normally i would just do it from afar but it's a metal roof and i want to see i'm gonna try to uh, sell a package here the driveway looks like it's dirty we can hopefully upsell the driveway as well so We'll see what we're working with here in a second. All right, guys, we're at the first job. It's a gutter clearing out um, right here. We're gonna be cleaning the gutters in the front and the back. So we're gonna go up here and knock on the door and meet the customer and see what we're working with and see when we can get it together. All right, guys, we just bid that gutter cleaning all right so we're going to clean the gutters out it's just two gutters one on the front one on the back it's a metal roof so i'll not be able to walk it but i'll be able to get up just like vegetation it's pretty bad off but no big deal um we did the gutters uh for 150 and then we're gonna do we did the shop we're just gonna spray the shop it's a small little garage shop 150 so it's basically a 300 dollars ticket that's my minimum and uh, it's gonna be basically in and out. It's gonna look amazing. They're gonna be happy with it. Uh, just like I said, it's the gutter on the front, the gutter on the back, that no side gutters. And then I'm gonna soft wash four sides of that little shop and then we're out of there. So like I said, they're gonna be happy. They're gonna let me put a sign in the yard. They're gonna give a Google review and also referrals. So, hey, you know, there it is. So now we're on our way to the first job of today, which will be a gas station and uh we may not get to that restaurant we'll have to do that one um because i'm in tennessee now that's in alabama so that'll be done on another day so uh all right guys let's get to the job all right guys i'm at the first stop the nike outlet store taking three pairs of these jordans back that don't fit and then from here it's a foot locker and jd sports to take the other pair back we got 12 total we got them get exchanges and money for so all right our next stop is going to be foot locker we're going to run these back we just dropped three off at nike then we got to go back to the truck and we have to get four more pairs for jd this is all i could carry it this time around so after this we'll be to the first right, job. one more trip with these two pairs and two pairs of sandals and crocs and we're done we got six pairs back to foot locker i think what was it three or four pairs something like that back to nike a few pairs back to Hibbets, and we got all the shoes returned. I think we had 14 pairs. Um, I kind of went crazy. I buy my family um, when there's good drops, so I buy them all some pairs. But uh, unfortunately, I got the wrong sizes, so we're gonna have to get the right sizes and uh, make sure we know what we're getting from them because they're growing from uh, preschool to, I mean, from toddler to preschool. And my wife's like a seven men's, which is also a seven grade school, depends on the size. So nonetheless. It's a learning journey. It's a learning curve. So let's get these back and get them. I ended up getting another pair. I ended up taking um, all those pairs back then, but getting a pair of two and a half personal of the Jordan 1 Retro Heritage. So yeah, I have that to the collection. Hey guys, we're at the first gas station. We have 12 pumps right here. 
gas we're going to get to wash them um we recently did those six diesel pumps we'll check them out and make sure they're okay we also did the dumpster and the grease back there we're also going to check and make sure that's still good and uh so we haven't hit the gas in a while so we're going to hit this and uh, so let's get the hoses rolled out and let's get started I'm at a stopping point to take a break. Man, look how dirty this is. I just washed it all. I gotta rinse all this up. So look, look how dirty this is. I'm about to rinse it now and all that water is gonna come up. You can see where I washed that. But man, you never know, especially with pea gravel, how dirty it is until you start washing. And I'm telling you, it's kind of like a white car, you know, it hides every, all the dirt. But with the pig gravel and like a gray, like this right here, see how it doesn't look that dirty right here? But then you go over there and it's just crazy. So I'm gonna get the ball valve out and we're gonna start rinsing and uh, get all on right. out of it. See the concrete? Look at that. See it? That's what it looks like. That's what it's gonna look like. See it slowly well, starting to come together. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how good that looks. And you know what? We didn't use any soap on this area right here. There was no spill. We just did it with hot water. And that was good. High pressure. We got everything up. Sometimes you don't need essay. Sometimes you don't need the pressure. Sometimes you don't need a society. Good job, you know? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's do it, though. I'm talking about high pressure, hot water. Like I said, this pea gravel really hides the dirt a lot. It hides it. Look how this gets it up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at
going on guys uh we're at the second gas station this one particularly has six regular pumps two diesel pumps and a racing fuel pump so like 10 total um and we had to stop by walmart what's going on guys we're at the second location this has got uh 10 pumps there's some gas pumps diesel pumps and racing fuel pumps so we're going to be cleaning this we had to take a detour to run to walmart before 11 to grab some things for my wife she wasn't able to make it today so i had to she she messaged me so i just ran to walmart uh got in there got out and now we're at the second location so we're about to put our chemicals down this one's pretty bad i'll show you right here it's i mean it, it could be worse but it's got that same pea gravel like concrete mix in it right here are some bad spots right here and out here in front of the marine there's also marine fuel here so this has racing fuel marine fuel diesel fuel and gas fuel so basically any kind of fuel you want you can get here so we're going to get cranking on this and uh let's go We got everything looking good. Everything's nice and clean, buttoned up really nice. We're gonna get to the next one. We are at the third location and what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be hitting the canopy right here. We're gonna be hitting the canopy and we're also going to be hitting behind me right here. We're gonna be hitting the sidewalks. Now you don't wanna use any pressure on asphalt. I never use pressure on asphalt. You can tear it up but we want to treat it with, with a degreaser to try to get the because this is non-organic try to get that up so we're going to put a light degreaser down and we're going to hit it um, with our actual soft wash um, system that's what i'm going to use so, so you just don't want to use a lot of pressure on it you can brush it a little bit with a brush and, and agitate it and get the get the um, non-organic stains kind of coming up and then hit it with uh, the uh, soft wash system and obviously a gas system works really good you know it's high volume of water but low psi so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do so without further ado let's get cranking let me show you something real quick so when i'm doing this i'm looking at trying to get like see right here see the spider webs up in there let me see if i can get a better angle see right there i'm looking at getting that i'm looking at getting see right here Spider webs right there. See right here, spider webs. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but nonetheless, we're trying to get all of, here's a good one, here's a good shot. See right here? So yeah, these get really dirty really fast. Oh man, look at this. I don't know what got on the side of this pump. Oh, this is like, oh, look, look. See this right here? That right there. So yeah, man, without further ado. All right, we're gonna start. Start shooting this trash can 
kill that S8 since the factory comes out. And when it starts coming out, it's going to kill all this junk on it. Come on, any second now, any second now. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. And I'll pull that wet paper towel off at the end and there'll be dry ones underneath there. So when I'm done, I'll pull that off like this right here and it'll be good to go. For any of you guys are wondering. You all right, baby? You all right, girl? There we go. Next, we're going to go up top. these canopies we want to make sure we get on the inside of the ledge especially right there where that height sign is when I always get around the poles the Mickey Mouse ears just like that yep all right we're also going to hit this building while we're here we're going to hit it and see all those trees over there we're going to kill off any algae that's up there we're gonna hit the portico, mantra area. We're gonna hit the ice machine. We're gonna hit the sidewalk.
windows. Make sure you get all that chemical off the windows. Get all that chemical off the windows. You don't want to sit on there too long at all. I always rinse before and after the fact. On your stainless and windows and all that good stuff. The rinse. See how bright that sign is? It's raining out here, which will help me rinse, but I wish it wouldn't have because the chemicals could have stuck a little bit longer. But as you can see, look, night and day difference. Night and day difference. That's what we do, man. We set the bar high. We don't play games. We got here and we get it clean. We make it look brand new. We make it look brand new. Thank you to do. We don't, we don't look over one spot. We don't miss nothing. Everything's got a it's not part of the object. It's not part of the canopy of the It's coming down. We don't cut corners between them. It is a wrap, guys. It is a wrap, wrap, wrap. We got this thing looking good. What is it, baby? What's wrong, baby girl? What's wrong, Sadie? Watch it. Watch it. Good girl. So, yeah, anyway, look. It is a wrap, man. Look. We got all these bonnets washed, all these pump numbers washed, all the garbage cans washed. Look at that. Oh, that looks brand spanking new, guys. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Look. Now, the only thing is that's bugs inside of the, inside the plastic. That won't come off. But nonetheless, nonetheless, everything that can get clean is clean. dirt that was right there it's gone we got all this looking brand spanking new look garbage cans even look new all the pump numbers all the bonnets
right guys it is a wrap it is almost four in the morning we're on the way home we got a lot accomplished today we got three gas stations done we got some um, jobs quoted and approved so without further ado guys make sure you are subscribed and make sure you hit the like button if you like the video it really helps the algorithm out and make sure you're in the giveaway we're giving 100 bucks away friday and we're going to keep doing that every week and uh, i appreciate all the support you guys are awesome and amazing and with that said have an amazing night and wash on